Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. Our series is about the digital SLR camera, how do I use it? And in this episode, we're going to look at the mode dial. Now the mode dial is on the top of pretty much every digital SLR camera and it determines how you're going to shoot your shot. Now two major factors in each shot that you take uh, will determine how the picture turns out and that's your aperture setting and your shutter value, your shutter speed. Uh, what that means, the aperture value on a camera is basically how wide the lens opens up. Now if you've ever seen uh, on lenses they have the ability to narrow down or open up, that's the aperture. It's essentially a series of little metal fins inside that close down the light. The more light that enters in the lens, the brighter the picture is going to be. So if you're in a dark room, a wide open aperture will allow a better picture. If you're in a really bright setting, narrowing it right down to a tiny little pinhole will give you a better shot because it won't overexpose the shot. The other thing is the shutter speed. Now we talked in an earlier episode about the shutter. Basically the camera opens up the mirror and light starts to hit the sensor inside. So what that essentially does, the longer the light hits the sensor, the more light will gather in there and the brighter the shot will be. There are a couple of uh, settings on the mode dial in most cameras. They're typically the same, although some have slightly different notations. So the first one that you want to see is M. That's manual. That means everything is controlled by you. A, or aperture, is something that allows you to determine the aperture value and the camera will compensate for the shutter speed. In this one we've got TV, which is also represented on other cameras as S, and that's shutter value, and in this case time value, and that determines how long the shutter speed will uh, open up. P is program, and that allows you uh, to shoot mostly automatically, but it gives you fine control over things like the flash. We've also got full automatic mode. We've got other settings on, on a lot of these digital cameras right now, like portrait mode, sports, macro, night shooting. Those things are all on the mode dial and how you set it will determine how it's going to shoot. Now, the full automatic modes, you don't have to think about too much. You just have to uh, set it in that mode and it'll shoot the image and uh, you don't have to think about anything. Exposure values, you don't have to think about the ISO setting, you don't have to think about whether the flash is gonna fire, if it needs it, it'll automatically pop up. The same goes with these other modes that are scene modes, like macro and sports and what. They will automatically reconfigure the camera for those particular types of shooting. You don't have to think about it at all, other than putting it in that mode, and the camera will reset everything for you. Now that's not always ideal uh, for all shooting uh, environments. So what you may want to do is you may want to take control over say the flash. You don't want the flash to fire. And when you're in a mode say in full auto and it's, it's dark in the room, the flash will automatically pop up and you may not want that at all. You may want an image that doesn't have flash for artistic reasons or because it's just a space where you shouldn't be shooting with a flash like say a concert or you know in a, in a sensitive area. So what you may want to do is flip it over into program mode. Now, when you do the same thing, you determine whether the flash fires. And uh, if you press the, the shutter, it won't automatically pop up on you. Same goes for the ISO mode. We've got uh, a little button over here that uh, says ISO. That determines the sensitivity of the, uh, the sensor in there. The higher the value on the ISO, the more you can shoot in lower light, but the more grain and noise it'll introduce into the picture. So. If, if you have it in full automatic mode, it'll automatically set that for you. If you leave it in program mode, you get to choose it by clicking the ISO button and then choosing your speed. So that's an overview of the mode dial on a digital SLR camera. Stay tuned for other episodes in the series where we'll talk about full manual, we'll talk about aperture priority and shutter priority, and explain to you what those mean.